Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningvideo.com. So I just calibrated, um, I've got two monitors. You see the one on the top is the HB Z24X, cheaper monitor for, you know, it's a dream color, but it's still inexpensive. The bottom one is my wide 34 inch uh, LG. And I'm trying to use DisplayCal 3, I believe that's what it's called. It's a free open source um, program. I'm using the X-Rite i1 Display Pro probe. And I did this before yesterday, the results didn't come out very well. Um, so I wanted to try doing it again, but this time I'm going to document what I've done. And maybe somebody could say, oh, I see what you're doing wrong. The top monitor, the HP, is being fed off the Blackmagic Mini, mini card or whatever it's called. It's like a $130 card. And the bottom one is coming off my GTX um, 980 Ti. So first off, on this drop-down menu, I'm picking, um, I don't know if you, how well you could see it, but it's video 3D LUT for Resolve uh, D65, which I guess is 6500, Rec 709, and then it's a 1886, I don't know what that number is. Um, and then for display, I'm using Resolve. Um, instrument using the i1 Display Pro, Color Monkey Display. This is a generic, you know, I've read through this stuff. It doesn't, you know, black drift um, and white drift, it's not like an OLED, it's just an LCD. So I'm going to keep it that way. Um, then we've got uh, calibration settings. Um, I'm going to leave these more towards default. I mean, I've read through this stuff, but a lot of this stuff I don't quite understand uh, in terms of the white point um, as measured, tone curve as measured. Profiling. I'm going to, usually it's default, so it comes in around, I don't know, about a half hour or so. I think around here it's a, eh, maybe an hour. I'm going to just make this quick. Um, let's put it to about, I don't know, about 16 minutes in terms of patches. Uh, test chart, it seemed from reading down here, auto-optimize was the best idea. Profile quality, leave it on high. I want to create a 3D LUT out of this. Again, I want to be putting it into Resolve's color management um, like I did last time. So say create 3D LUT, color space. Um, I'm gonna go with Rec 709. I think that's what it was. Tone curve, I believe it was set at Rec 1886 before. Uh, I'm gonna try something different this time. Let's go with uh, Gamma 2.2. Um, rendering intent, yeah, I don't know exactly what this is. I even read it down here. Still don't quite fully understand of it. I wanna create a cube. I want the full range, that makes sense. LUT size, just max it out. I don't think it's any, I don't think it takes any hit on performance. Now I've been following this gentleman mid-phase. Um, he was nice to share all of his settings, which is great. So what I'm gonna do here is, um, I can't start the measurement until I get the setup. So what I'm gonna do is go over to resolve. Um, I think it's workspace, monitor, spectrical, calmen, which this is not. But uh, here, let me zoom in a little bit. 168.1249. And then I'm going to say connect. His is a great example. If you want to follow his, I'm not going to be really making this in the tutorial, but you can see there's a, a patch appeared up above on the other screen. Say so start measurement. And this is where it gets wonky. So it's going to go step through red, green, blue. So you can see that the red the green is really hot. So what are my choices? Um, you can see I've got the luminance of the brightness set about right, but the green is too hot. So I could bring green down. All right, so there's a thing called um, adjust RGB, which I could definitely select. This is what I did before, go to custom. And you can see there's these three. And down below, I had set this um, correctly last time, but you can still see the green channel is way up. This time what I'm going to think I'm going to do, instead of trying to do it that way, maybe we can just brute force try to do it this way under user. Um, I mean, or sRGB. Let's try sRGB or this time. And you can see we're pretty darn close. I don't even know if it's going to let us do this, but uh, I say stop measurement and I'll say continue to profiling. While it's done its thing here for 16 minutes, I just wanted to point out one thing. Uh, the HP monitor is brand new. Um, it's got like hardly any hours on it, just the hours that I've been trying to calibrate it. 
So my th theory is if I put it in like Rec 709 um, mode on the HP, um, the red, green, blue values should be very, pretty darn close. So that's why I'm not going to do the custom and changing the RGB values. All right, what you can see here is this, I haven't done anything calibration wise. This is still factory default um, sRGB and this one has been calibrated as well. Did they match? Uh, uh, good question. We start looking through some of these. Um, this is I haven't applied the LUT yet, but as you can see, they're pretty similar. Um, at least in, it's really interesting when I look on back of the display of this camera, you can see the differences a lot more obvious. Um, oops, I shouldn't be showing those pictures. Those aren't mine. Um, but these are ones that come with X-Rite software, and I just put them into Resolve so I could skim through them. All right, where it says 3D video monitor lookup table. And I've looked in the Resolve, um, you know, it talks about it, but I believe this is the correct one because it talks about the display lot going to the monitor image. Um, and this one looks to be the correct one to use. 3D monitor lookup table. So I don't see it yet, obviously, so you're gonna have to update the list. And then I'll just go to, 3D monitor lookup table, go down. I think it's right here. Yeah, it's one called sRGB with the day's date. Now I'm gonna move this over to the side. And um, especially on the green channel. I've all right, so you're ready? When I hit click save, watch what happens. They both changed. Which totally doesn't make sense to me. Why did the LG change? I thought this was only affecting the top monitor the HP with the uh, video card, the deck like mini monitor. Now they looked very different. Um, I don't know how you guys can tell, but boy, they look really different. Um, the bottom one is all of a sudden looks darker maybe. Why is it applying a lot to the bottom one? Um, I want to be able to look at both. Um, obviously I want to use the top one as a reference, but um, as you can see here, wow, there's a big difference in color on these this one right here um i'd almost say the uh, again the white balance on this camera might I'm, i've set to uh, daylight so i yeah, might be a little bit off um, favoring one over the other but you can see how different they are uh very different um this one's really contrasty oh shouldn't be showing that one um uh yeah so I guess this is where my question comes in. Why uh, does this look so different? Um, I mean, obviously they're they're pretty close. I mean, that one looks very different. Um, this one looks pretty similar to me, to my eye. But when you go to these black, like this one right here, it's like, wow. Especially with that white background. Um, which I believe is just a neutral color. So my biggest question here is why is this monitor changing? Shouldn't that be the only monitor that's changing? Let me know. Thanks. Bye.